Welcome to Vlogtober. This is going to be the start of week three, even though it's the end of week two, if that makes any sense. It's Saturday the 13th, and I'm getting ready to head off, run a few errands. Uh, I need to hit up the Dollar Tree to pick up a few items. I need to go to the office. I need to finish up some work, so there's lots of lots of things to get accomplished today so let's see how much i end up vlogging so i am pulling in to the dollar tree parking lot and i need to pick up a few items you know like essentials we are out of And I'm gonna try to see if I can see if there's like new stuff at the Dollar Tree. The last, this is my bigger Dollar Tree. The last time I was in this bigger Dollar Tree, they were kind of just getting out all the Christmas stuff. The Christmas stuff is still like in an inner aisle. It's, the, it's not like on main display area of the Dollar Tree because the Halloween stuff is still there. So I'm here now, let me just show you. Here's my Dollar Tree. Yay, Dollar Tree. Finished with my Dollar Tree shopping expedition, but now I need to find a different place to park so I can do a quick haul in the car because that is <sighs> YouTube problems. <laughs> Hashtag YouTube problems. I have to move to where um, I get a little bit better lighting and there's not so many people coming and going and I think this looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's bang out this haul slash video. All right, just finished up with the Dollar Tree haul. Now I gotta hurry up and load these things back up. I'm hungry. I need to grab myself a little something to eat. I'm just not sure what. <sighs> My goodness. Got all that straightened out. Okay, let's go to the office. So I'm in line at the Dunkin'. I decided at the last minute before going to the office that I would stop and get a coffee and maybe like a bagel or something to have as a afternoon snack slash lunch to eat. And there's a huge line ahead of me. It's just my luck, really. It's just my luck. It is pouring raining out. What's the temperature? Let's see. Let me see what the temperature is. The temperature in Syracuse today is 42 degrees. It doesn't feel uh, 46 degrees. I'm sorry, just updated. It doesn't feel like it's that that cold, but it's cold enough for me to have a hoodie on uh, for the duration of the day I guess I don't know if it's gonna stop raining or not it says later on this afternoon it may stop raining who knows tomorrow was supposed to be a nicer day by the way little bit uh, the rain's gonna stop and it's gonna be sunnier and it's gonna get a, probably about 10 to 12 degrees a little bit a little bit hotter so I thought I would just come back on here and say hey to you guys since I'm sitting here waiting in line at the Duncan Everybody's got the same idea as me <laughs> in line at the Duncan. No. Something you don't see every day in Cicero. We have an Amish uh, stand with a wheel and buggy. I don't know where the horse is. <laughs> but they're selling their jams and pies and honey. Welcome back to the vlog. I am on my way home from the office. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days because I've been at my desk working on uh, tax deadlines or individual extension returns. That's, that's a lot of fun. So I am heading home right now. The sky is absolutely gorgeous tonight, like pinks and I'm just, I'm going to, 
I'm going to show you guys. I took a took some footage of it. It was just too beautiful not to share with you guys. gorgeous that sky is tonight. Look at that. Oh, look at that sky. Anyways, I'm heading home. I picked up some groceries. So I have to put away groceries. We're making these, uh, they're like, they're pizzas made on nan bread. And I have like a pepperoni one and I have a garlic one and some just some chicken tenders for like to have along with it, I guess. Because they're just, they're really small. Nan breads could basically be considered like a, you know, an individual size pizza. They're not that big. So I wanted to make sure that we had at least a little something else to go along with it. So that's what we're having for dinner. I'll possibly put in some footage of what those look like. Um, it's cold today. Well, actually I'm looking at the temperature and it's 52 now, but earlier today it was like 40 something when I left the house and the wind was whipping up really, really bad. We had a really bad windstorm the other night and the wind just makes it feel so much colder. So I threw on my winter coat. I re probably really don't need the winter coat on, but wearing it anyways because otherwise I got to carry it so why not wear it wear it oh yeah that's what's going on in my world so of course I got dishes going in the dishwasher and I got the pizzas in the oven this is kind of what they look like we have the pepperoni up here the garlic one there yeah and I got the chicken tenders here they're gonna be heated up as soon as the pizza is ready just something quick for dinner welcome back to the vlog so I thought I would show you guys just some of the Halloween decorations that I have up on my mantle most of them are from the Dollar Tree we have these glass containers that I glued together the candlestick just some fake leaves from the Dollar Tree. We have the Dollar Tree pumpkins. And then over here I have my two books with my sugar skulls and another autumn leaf decoration. I also put this cornucopia down here at the bottom with autumn foliage. And then on top of my fireplace I have this spooky scene that came from last year's Dollar Tree and I threw some moss in there just for that eerie effect. And then the last thing I have is just this cute little wooden, actually I don't even know if that's from the Dollar Tree, but I have this wooden pumpkin on display. I am now making a grilled ham and cheese with this awesome like cheese bread that I picked up at my local Wegmans. I'm just going to throw some butter on either side and grill it with some Black Forest ham and American cheese. And we're just going to let this grill away until it's golden brown and the cheese is melted. Yum. This is what lunch is today. Looks good, right? Welcome back to the vlog. It's Friday. It's Friday night. And Friday night tonight, the 19th. And I am, we just finished up with dinner. And I'm getting ready to do one of these Yes To masks that I got from the Dollar Tree last weekend. Uh, the one I'm going to try right now is the Yes To Cotton. It says it protects and minimizes irritation for ultra-sensitive skin. We're going to give that a shot. I'm just going to open this right up for you. I figured I'd kind of do like a quick review. Oh, so this isn't... So it's not like a mask mask. It's actually like product that obviously you just put on the skin 
So let me just read it. I probably should read it first, huh? Apply, apply a generous amount to clean skin and it'll, it works itself. Comforting magic for ten, five to 10 minutes. Okay, so this will be pretty great. So I'm just going to scoop this off and I'm gonna I'm putting a generous amount on. I feel like I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Got my Santa Claus beard going on. Um, the smell, I have to say, is not the greatest on this. I mean, it's not bad. But it's not great. So I'm going to try to use as much of this as I can. Because it says put a... I am definitely putting a generous amount on here. Trying not to get too close to the eyes, but making sure, and I think I'm gonna take the rest of this and I'm gonna put it down. Yeah. <laughs> it feels pretty good. Okay, there is a little bit more left. I don't know if I should try to put any more on or not. I probably should just cake it all on, huh? Okay. All right. I'll check back with you in about 10 minutes. So while I'm waiting for this, I thought I would show you guys. Um, I actually moved into my new purse, this Kate Spade purse that I picked up um, a few months ago when... Um, Ashley Beauty and I went to the outlet mall, to the Kate Spade outlet. I absolutely love this because it has like this pink color in the middle and just look how much room there is. There's actually room for my laptop that can go in there. Let's see if I can flip you around so I can show you all the features of this purse. So here we go. And so what I like about this is I like the fact that it has um, an outside pocket that you can flip your phone in on both sides. And I love the pink interior. It has a zip area, which I really don't have much in there. I have, I have just, uh, this is another Kate Spade mini little change purse. I have inside this pocket. And then I have the matching wallet to go with it that's also pink in the center and then I literally have everything inside this nice little black pouch that I've had for eons like a purse organizer and I just have my makeup my tech bag and I have my keys just kind of clipped to the side here so yeah I am so happy that I got moved in to my Kate Speed purse. So I just got through washing off the mask. I'm not sure if I got all of it off or not. Um, it felt really, it felt a little bit tingly when I had it on. It dried really, really fast, which is really nice. It, oh, <laughs> there we go, let's get some of this off. I did not have to wait like the full 10 minutes. It only took like seven minutes for it to be completely dry. Um, I like the way my face feels, so I would say for a buck, give it a shot. Yes, too. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to end this vlog for this week, so thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm going to chat with you in my next vlog. Bye, guys.